Dagon, Rav Moshe Feinstein wrote it. He says, the subject of tzniut for women is from a deoraita, meaning it's a biblical mitzvah. It's from Hashem directly. Lately, the urge for pritzut, for immodesty, has found its way even into the homes of the Shomrei Torah, even into the religious people's homes. Luring them into wearing short garments, Rachmana Litzlan, he says, Hashem help us, people wearing short skirts where the skirt is not covering the knee or it's barely covering the knee or as soon as they sit down it's no longer covering the knee and this is what he continues in his letter I have come to publicly proclaim that this is one of the most serious averot in the Torah he's not calling it chet he's calling it avera there's a difference. A chet is not intentional. Shogeg, accidental. He's calling this avera. Avera means it's intentional sin. Everyone knows whether you're Jew or Gentile. Everyone knows what's modest and what's not modest. No one can go to Shemaim and say, no, no, I didn't know what modesty is. I thought that if I wear my tank top that I got from Polo and my shorts that I got from Donna Karen, I thought that would be modest. No woman that shows her skin thinks she's modest. She could be the, the stupidest woman on earth. She still knows what modesty is. That's why Rabbi Moshe Feinstein, Gdol Adol, is saying it's avira, it's an intentional sin. Why? Because you know. You know what modesty is and you're choosing not to be modest. He continues. Those who transgress it, meaning that tr become, are immodest, will be severely punished. While those who do not give in to the urge will be richly rewarded both in this world and the next. It is an obligation of the Bat Israel to wear kosher clothes, which do not allow even the most minimal part of her knee to show. As I've said this in lectures many, many times, this is not my rules, this is alakha. He's saying not even to show a small part of your knee, not even the shape of your knee is allowed to show, even after you sit down. Whether at the time of walking or when she sits down. So you see, I'm not making this up. He's, this is in his letter. Even here, this is the part that was a chidush. This is what he writes. Even if she wears thick hosiery, it is still forbidden because it is an immense pritzut to show the shape of the knee even when no flesh can be seen. All the more so when sheer hosiery is worn through which the flesh can be seen and the covering is therefore reckoned as non-existent. Meaning that even those religious women in Brooklyn who call themselves religious but they wear the short skirt but they feel that it's okay because they're wearing the thick stockings black stockings yeah, I see that according to Rabbi Moshe Feinstein which everyone accepts him Ashkenazi, Sephardic, everyone knows who he is this is one of the says it's not allowed complete pritzut he calls it it is the duty of each and every man to supervise the members of his family regarding the halakha against wearing short garments. They will then fulfill the verse of Vehi Mechanecha Kadosh. Meaning may your uh, home be holy and will be worthy of having upright and bless children who engage in the study of Torah and the fulfillment of mitzvot. We turn to the heads of the educational institutions for girls and request of them to be strong in this difficult struggle and not to allow pupils to wear short garments. In the merit of Tzniut and Kedushat Israel, may we soon merit the redemption. And the 
this is the biggest sages of our generation all signed this. The Gdolea Poskim saying dresses and skirts must be at least four inches, which is ten centimeters, below the lowest point of the kneecap to guarantee that the knees will be covered at all times. Sometimes even more is required according to a, uh, a Rabbi Gaon Shlomo Zalman. One of Gdolea Do, Zalman Oerbach. The rest of this was signed by him, signed by a Gaon Arav, Yosef Shalom Ilyashiv, Zatzal, uh, Rav uh, uh, Shmuel Levi Wozner, and obviously a Rav Folk in his book, and Rav uh, Moshe Feinstein. All of the Gdolei Adol agreed at what modesty is. So how could there be that some rabbis out there are not saying anything about this. They see women coming to shul with their immodesty, with their mini skirts, like they go into a club. You know, on Yom Kippur, the people that come to the Knesset once a year, they don't come to the Knesset ready to pray. They come to the Knesset ready to show off. Show off the new watch, show off the plastic surgery, show off the money, show off. Why doesn't anybody say anything? Because we're all more scared of people than we are of Hashem.